They say with anything, your first impression is crucial. Will you like what you see? Will you want to go back for more? Or do you think you should push it to the side in favor of other things? Well, that's what this series is all about, as I spend one hour each week to a special game to see if it's worth returning to. This, my friends, is our impressions. Celebrating its 5th anniversary this year, we took a quick look at Slain Back From Hell. This was one of those games that just happened to be on sale and piqued my interest just enough for a purchase. What fascinates me though is this is technically a re-release. The original Slain was received so poorly it was remade into today's game in question. Then I looked up the reviews and saw that, for the most part, it didn't fare much better. So one hour of play later I determined the game probably should have stayed in hell. Not everything about the game is bad, but there's some ground to cover first, such as the story. You play as Batherin, risen from the dead to defeat the evil Lord Vral who wishes to conquer the world. Kill things. That's it. I wish I was joking, but that's really it. There's flavor text, but it doesn't really matter in the long scheme of things. Not even Dark Souls has such a minimal blow. Oh shoot! I just said it! The boy just said it! This video's dated! We are done, people! Yes, I'm well aware that comparing games to the DS is old and honestly ridiculous. But for my entire playtime, that's all I could think about. More specifically, Bloodborne. The desolate city caught in a disaster, horrific creatures, minimal dialogue to try and add flavor text, and especially the gameplay, but more on that soon mainly because I'm holding back my rage. Slain Back From Hell is tough. Really tough. If you play this, get ready to die a lot. It's a 2D side-scrolling action platformer. Use your sword to hit enemies in basic or charge attacks, block and parry attacks, a projectile for distant attacks, a jump button, and a dodge button. That's all you get for the first couple of stages. Make it through each section, making it to the checkpoints to eventually reach the end of the stage. Combat is very minimalistic, slaying each enemy in your way to progress. But perhaps too much, because I got bored very quickly, which rarely happens in an action game. One of those main reasons is your reach, or lack thereof. It's small, giving enemies ample time to hit you before defeat, and that happened countless times. Even when I tried to block, I still took damage because it wasn't quick enough. It always felt delayed each time I attempted a block. Bigger enemies are the worst example, unless you're a master at the parry system, which I wasn't and despite my best attempts, it was only a moderate success, leading to even more deaths. Worse yet, enemies do not give you experience or anything for that matter, so it never felt rewarding slaying countless monstrosities. It made combat feel worthless, and in an action game like this, that is inexcusable. This even goes to the boss. Yes, boss. I only faced one my entire playthrough. It was okay, but if you're telling me decapitating it is my reward and not a weapon or move, I only sigh of disappointment. As for the other gameplay element, platforming is just okay except for one major flaw. Knockback. Oh, it's here, and it sucks. Once again leading to countless deaths over insta-kill pits and pools. It's only back to your most recent checkpoint should you lose, but it still hurts every time your death wasn't your fault. I'm looking at you, Gargoyle. I am looking right at your- OH DANG IT! You do get new weapons eventually, though. Sadly, at the start of the third stage I played, and I never felt any stronger with it. It's just a sword lit on fire. How can you make that boring? And it shouldn't because the presentation is stellar. Look at the detail, the fluent animations, the head banging metal music, it's great stuff. I looked at the title screen and I was ready for a great adventure, but unfortunately, a good presentation can't save this game. I never wanted to be done more for a game than here. Even DMC, I played more than this. Yeah, that's pretty sad. If it wasn't for my rule of needing to play one hour exactly, this would have been turned off before I got to the first boss. Yes that soon. There's no satisfaction here, just a war of attrition from start to finish, and if it gets any better towards the end, I 
honestly just don't care. I personally recommend you don't give this a try. And I hate to be that negative, but if I can't have a good time here, I'm sure you wouldn't either. If you like difficult games for reason beyond your control, maybe this could be for you, but that's a huge maybe. I don't know about you, but I feel pretty burnt out. A worse fate than hell itself. Wow, my first negative impression. I only hope it goes up from here. <laughs> With that said everyone, thank you so much for watching this hour impression on Slain Back From Hell. If you enjoyed it, well, you know what to do. And I hope you look forward to next week should you stick around. Please stay safe, take care, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>